This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have the first match in the Conmebol Libertadores group stage coming right up for you. It's San Lorenzo, and they face Boca Juniors. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Smart stop. Well, opting for the short corner. And making the move to the inside. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Another short corner here. Benedetto, he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one Ezequiel Cerruti in with a chance it has to be surely oh a save right out of the top drawer super stop Oscar Romero High quality defending. Barrios. Juan Ramirez. Making sure it didn't get past him. Barrios oh, what can they do to stop him running at them could play it in can he put them in front oh it was a crucial challenge and does well to keep it in play and a poor ball Ezequiel Cerruti. Well, visionary passing. And just over the bar. Excellent effort it was. Well, pressing really high. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Villa. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Frank Fabra. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And space to exploit, maybe. Crossing opportunity. Giving it a try. 
Still possibilities. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Well, no stopping him. Guillermo Fernandes has a go. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Oh, they've lost it. And teammates around him. A well, disappointing end to the move. Villa. Varela. He read the situation defensively and did his job. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And they deal with the threat this time. He's got to score! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. A chance now with the corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? A decisive clearance it was. And it's played into the centre. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And then just look at the finish. That's a brilliant volley. Good technique and the perfect contact. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here plenty of support here targets available cross comes in and problem solved for now well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And giving the ball away. Still alive. Well, that's the end of that for now. So a throw in here. Valdez on the ball. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Could play it in. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. And the final whistle is sounded. It is a victory on match day one for the home side. And Stuart, you can't really argue with that. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game.